Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think this feeling I'm feeling is called a hangover, maybe. So, I got to get a little of this Sage Marie in my system, guys. I got to. <laughs> Every time someone said guava yesterday, I had a little fully loaded. <laughs> I played in my garden and I had so much fun. Yeah, I'm going to share it with you. All right. But I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day. All right. Come on, Sage. <laughs> Come on through this morning. <laughs> <sighs> Hello everyone, this is Linda. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is hot. <laughs> it's hot, y'all. It's hot. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. But uh, I've been doing some harvesting and uh, yeah, let me share. The, uh, the wild part of the garden is really beautiful. Really beautiful today. I hear my buddy, but I don't see him. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. So here is a small spaghetti squash. Let's see here. Here is another spaghetti squash. There. There's another one there. I have another one somewhere, but I would like to share with you how do you know when it's time to harvest your spaghetti squash? Well, the first thing you look for is the leaves are dying, and my leaves are dying. <laughs> They're dying. And also, you would, your spaghetti squash will turn yellow. It's turning yellow. <laughs> now, the other part you look for is, let me this leaf out the way. This stem right here. This, it become a little more woody. And it's very uh, hard. And when you harvest it, you want to cut it like right here. You want to leave a lot of that stem on because that will keep it from spoiling and you, it will just last a long time. And this is why it's a winter squash. You can, uh, it will last up to a year. I've had some to last a year. So... I'm going to wait a couple of days, just try to wait for this to turn a little bit more brown. And then, I'm going to harvest this baby. Yeah. But anyway, that's how you know when to harvest your spaghetti squash. Yeah. So today, I'm harvesting my olives. I almost forgot them on here. They get <laughs> Yeah. So, because of the rain and uh, all the winds that we had from Crystal Ball, especially um, uh, the four days of just constant rain, I lost a lot of my olives. So many of them uh, just, you know, fell off this little tree. But uh, I'm going to harvest uh, all that is here, all those survivors, yeah, and what I'm going to do is, 
in a video to come, I'm going to share with you how I'm going to prepare these olives. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to let them go to waste. I am going to enjoy them. Yes, I will. So look for the video really soon and I'm going to share with you how I'm going to preserve these olives. All right, so here are my purple hull peas. Yeah, look at that. The sun here, the sun, uh, they love it. They love it. <laughs> yeah, they're doing very, very well, very well. And uh, yesterday, uh, yeah, there was a lot going on yesterday, but I had uh, two of my aunts over here and they walked through my garden. Now, why did I do that? <laughs> That was a bad idea. It was a bad idea, but it happened. So, one of my aunts says, I want some of that garlic. Now, guys, you got to remember, this aunt is 82. She said, I want some of that garlic. I'm like, but it's not ready. She said, garlic is always ready, baby. <laughs> so, you know what I did? I harvest a lot of this garlic for her. And right here we cleaned it up and she took it home <laughs> but she says it's always ready and yes it is so you don't have to wait till you get a bowl but you know yeah but <laughs> she took it and that's the way that go but anyway guys uh, of course I let her take it but I want to show you my olive harvest that I got so this is my olive harvest that I received and uh, there was so many, so much more olives on this little tree, but with uh, crystal ball and all the rain, a lot of them fell off. But in a later video, I will share with you what I'm gonna do with these olives because I'm not gonna let them go to waste, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use them. All right. So this pepper plant was sitting um, in the middle of the garden. And as you can see, her leaves are turning yellow and she looks scorched. It is because she is scorched. <laughs> but what I've done is I've taken her and set her under the tree in the garden. And that'll help her a lot. Yeah, so she won't get so burnt up. And here I set more peppers out in the shady part of the garden where they can continue to grow and do well. So as I walk around the garden, I'm just um, picking beans or whatever I see that is ready for harvest because I haven't been out in the garden in a couple of days. Now I have been out here um, and I've uh, watered everybody you know and just kind of looked over everybody but not spending time I haven't spent any time out here because yo it's been so hot out here and you know I need to take care of myself so and that's another thing I want to talk about is that when it is too hot in the garden um, <clears throat> always have you something to drink uh, a hat shades you need to protect yourself because baby you will be laying out here and no one will know that you are here so protect yourself when it is hot in this garden okay the sweet potatoes is doing well still producing flowers now this is in this um five gallon bucket is white potatoes so what i did was i used the same seed potatoes i used from our first harvest yeah that is those same potatoes yeah we'll see what happens yeah but the sweet potatoes are doing well they're doing good the Malabar spinach is finding their way up this trellis. So cool, hanging out with flowers, but 
they doing good. Some of them, but some of them, yeah, because they are in direct sun. Yeah, till about six, I guess. It is time for me to harvest more leaves from this moringa tree because, as you can see, she is steady doing her thing. And that's a good thing, y'all. That's a good thing. So here are the sunflowers. This one is turning yellow very well. You probably cannot see. This is the largest um, sunflower. And she's doing well. She's getting there, but not yet. Not yet. Yeah, she's doing good. No squirrels have eaten out of her today. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right. Go, girl. This is around the tree. Yeah. Some coming in. Some going out. Yeah, this is that summer heat. This is what you'll find. Yeah. They're looking gorgeous this morning and the hibiscus this is her this morning and another bloom this morning and on this plant we have a pink and the yellow is opening she's opening there's more coming just all over She's going in, though. Yeah. Coming up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Those babies back there. They love it. Of course, these girls. Black Eyed Susans. What up this morning? (laughs) The wild part of the garden. Yeah. My, my, my. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All of them. Cosmos. Mexican sunflower. She hasn't bloomed yet, but she will be. She is getting very tall. She'll be touching the tree. (laughs) The elephant ears. I don't know if what they think of all this company they have. <laughs> but, you know, gotta live together, brother. <laughs> so, this is many of the flowers this bloom. I'll show you more. Here's some more Black Eyed Susie's right there. Wow. You see, there's no wind blowing. It's just hot and still and humid. (laughs) No wind. (laughs) My favorite Xenas. Yeah, that's my favorite. There's more coming here. And there is her. But you know what? Let's get these seeds right here. So I'm just going to take the whole head and come up with it. Just come on up with it. I'll take them off inside. But they're ready. Many of the roses are, the roses are going in. Oh my, wait, I didn't see that pink one back there. Let's go see what that is. There she is back there. She's really a light pink. She probably looked really bright, but she is very light. Much lighter than this pink. She's gorgeous, so I'm glad I saw you, baby. There she is right there. <laughs> this is the shady part of the garden, and there they are, more zenas. And a headless sunflower. Mm. Yeah. yeah. 
elderberries. Looks like they're trying to make a comeback. Mm. And these big mamas. <laughs> yeah, Mexican sunflowers. They just came up over here. And I let them. I just let them. Big, big, big flowers. Much bigger than the other ones. But I love them. So here is my um, head I pulled off. And here are all my seeds. Huh? Huh? So I'm going to put them in the envelope. And I'm going to let them dry. I may throw more out, you know? Yeah. But that's them. And they are my favorites. Yay. Thank you. So I have this rutabaga that just, I don't know, it, it just started growing here. <laughs> it's in the ground. Look at the look at the leaves on it. Just huge. Just huge leaves. And I have just been letting it grow. Yeah, just let it grow. Uh, so hopefully I get a rutabaga from it, you know. But let me share some more rutabagas with you. Here's my other rutabagas. Now, although the leaves has been attacked, but that's okay because I'm not gonna eat the leaves. I just want that thing right there. Just right there. <laughs> yeah, so it's doing good. Today, it's been in the 90s. <laughs> and yeah, tomorrow it will be in the 90s again. So some of my peppers uh, that I have in my um, Dollar Tree buckets, I've placed them all in the shady part of the garden because, yeah, they go get fried, y'all. But these guys, they gonna be all right, and they're looking cute, I must say. Yeah, they're looking cute, <laughs> but um. Yeah, those peppers, I put them over in the shady part. I hope they love it. It has been just too hot for me and my body to be out in the garden. It's just too hot. <laughs> yeah. Somebody be coming out here picking me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More harvesting to do. Look at those. Those are red ripe. I got the kettle. <laughs> so I was going to move this plant, but when you look at her, yeah, she's about to bloom. Because it is so hot. Yep, it's about to rain. So I wanted to share also my bell peppers. And Jada's uh, bell peppers are really, really doing good. These are really doing good as well. You see, that one may not make it. <laughs> but we're getting them. We're getting them. Yeah, they're coming on. So this is the Dollar Tree tripod. And it sets in direct heat all day. And yeah, she's making a lot, got a lot of beans on her. She's doing real good. But the peas are getting fried. <laughs> yeah, they're getting fried. And I have this um, fish pepper here sitting right under his because this is where the water from this table come down. So, two for one. And as you can see, I got a lot of peppers on here. I can raise her up. There she is. You see those peppers. There they are. Got a lot of peppers in here. Yeah. They doing good. But thank God <laughs> it's about to rain. <laughs> and that is a good thing, y'all. That's a good thing. We need this rain. Yeah. 
So I want to share with you all some flowers that's in uh, the side of the house. I have it wild like, but it's some gladiolas. So I want to share with you all my gladiolas in the wild. But yeah, I planted these. These are Dollar Tree flower bulbs. Yep, they're from the Dollar Tree. They love it out here. Yep. Hanging out with the Zenas. I still have lots of tomatoes. Um, I'll show you more. Here's a, this is a Cherokee purple right here. Yeah. So these are flowers right here. Uh, let's see. I'll show you some that's bloom so you can see what they look like. But this is how you harvest their seeds. You see this little pot here. And as you see that little circle around them, they're so ready to come off. But when you touch it, it splits. You see that? <laughs> and there's your seeds right there. So you just take them out. There the seeds are. Yes, I'll try it again. I'll show you. So it's really crazy how it just pop up in your hand. It feels strange, I tell you. Yeah, it looks, see that? It popped open. And there are the seeds. So let me show you what the flowers look like because I can't remember the name of them. Mm. So this is those flowers right here. And they like come up on the stems. And they call, just go all up. Yeah, that's them. Yeah, let me see if I have some more so. So here is more tomatoes. Yeah, they are around the tree. Yes, lots of tomatoes in there. I gotta get that mama. She blushing hard. <laughs> so these flowers here are, you see how dark it is inside of them? You can see the seeds really. If you look really close, you can see the seeds in there. So I'm gonna share with you what I do, okay? <laughs> may not be the right way to do it but this is what I do and I'm gonna take a small one and I just cut it off let me show you so I just cut it off oh where are you now oh man okay so here it is right here so put it in a bag and just shake All the seeds fall off. <laughs> Just shake it, baby. Just shake it. <laughs> and see how, yeah, you can see how the seeds are coming out. But if you let them stay on there longer, this one here could have stayed a little longer. But you see those seeds, they, they will be dark. So let me get a couple of them. Let you see it. So, the black you see in my hand, that are seeds are right there. Make tiny little seeds, but I'm going to let them stay longer. And they're going to get dark, but you just got to get them before they fly away. You're going to miss some. So, every season, they always come back in this area because there's so many, you know, that I miss. But, yeah, so... You can always have them right here or amaranth, which whatever one they are. But they're beautiful. So, and that's how you harvest the seeds. And I just put them in a bag. And at the beginning of spring, I put more where I want them to be. Yeah. Cool. Oh. If you can hear, it is rumbling. It is rumbling up there. Yeah, it's rumbling. Oh, but listen, guys. So I want to share with you all that on tomorrow's video, 
I will be doing something a little different. Well, something I've never done before. So tomorrow, I'm going to go over and I'm going to bring you guys with me to my fig tree. <laughs> I call her my freak fig tree because um, I love her. So I'm going to bring you guys with me. If the figs are ready, we're going to do a harvest. Either way, I'm going to take a page from my buddy, Lair Farmer 73, and I'm going to do some air laying. I'm going to air lay three branches of this tree because if there's any fig tree that I want in my yard, I would love to have this fig tree. So, I'm going to do that, okay? So, <laughs> y'all wish me luck, all right? But I'm going to give it my best shot. And um, I've, I've watched uh, Led's video at least three or four times, and I think I got it, y'all. We're going to do it, all right? So, uh, y'all come and see me tomorrow, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do some air land on this beautiful, beautiful fig tree that no one take care of. She take care of herself, but she's beautiful. And she's beautiful to me. <laughs> all right, guys, I wanna thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I hope all you fathers enjoy your day. Yeah, yeah, do something great at home with the family. Yeah, do something in the backyard when the sun is going down, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just have fun. Have fun. But all right, guys. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Later, y'all. <laughs>